I am currently working on draft two. I did just want to take a second to talk about what my overall plan is and timeline for Project Crown. Okay. Total for draft two, I'm currently at 20,878. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Sarah Jane. I am a person who makes content about living in DC and writing and reading. So if that interests you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it would really help support my channel. I am trying out this mic because I've had this mic for a while and I just feel like I might like the audio better on it. We shall see. Um, but I wanted to do a writing vlog today. So I'm once again starting this vlog at night, which is I'm noticing slowly becoming a theme for me <laughs> because that's the time that I have to write. So um, I am currently working on draft two of Project Crown. Project Crown is my mythological fiction novel about the Amazons. I've been working on this for over a year now and I'm very excited because I finished reading my first draft um, last week. So essentially, I finished writing draft one three months ago. It took me about a year to do it. And then I put it away for three months. And now I've actually read it, provided feedback to myself within four different categories. So if you didn't watch my last vlog, I actually broke it down. So my four categories are the overall... Um, improvements, world building, development, and character development. So those are the four things that I've been working on in draft two. I have also changed the tense of my work. So my original draft one was written in present tense. I have thus changed to past tense third person. It is a dual POV story. So all that being said, um, it is currently seven o'clock on a Tuesday night. My last vlog, I got so much writing done because I had a long weekend and I had just so much time to write and I, it was so enjoyable. Um, I am now back to my nine to five working life um, and so it is a bit of a balance to find time to write, but it is important to me that I do it. I have been listening to Brandon Sanderson's like lecture series on YouTube, which is really fabulous. And he is very motivational in terms of like helping me get back and being disciplined into writing. So if you haven't listened to it yet, I haven't watched them all, but so far I've been really enjoying it. So anywho, let's get to writing tonight. <laughs> everyone I have reached a good stopping point so I wrote for an hour and I wrote 2093 words which I am happy with um I just kind of went into it you know just being in the right mindset to write so I just wanted to jump on that while I had that kind of motivation if you didn't watch my last vlog I talked about as I was reading draft one which this is draft one it's huge I talked about how um I started editing it based off the notes that I had and then that's when I stopped and actually opened up a new word document and started writing and rewriting draft two instead of just editing um and I've gotten to the point where I have caught up to where I stopped editing so this is significant because that means that when I sit down and write next I am no longer looking at notes that I filled in and kind of made comments about already, I'm going to actually get to write new things in places um, and in scenes where I annotated like expand scene here or somewhere in my notes I may have written um, elaborate more on this. So up to this point I have already kind of wrote those out but now I've gone to the point where 
I haven't done that yet. So that's kind of exciting. That means I have like some things to look forward to. Um, but with that being said, this is a really great opportunity for me to stop. It's eight o'clock. I think I'm going to read. It just come down from the evening. I do have work tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going into the office because I also have a medical appointment in the morning and I just don't think I can swing it. But regardless, I still have work. So because of that, I don't want to like burn myself out or anything. So I'm going to spend the rest of the night just reading and I'm looking forward to it. So that leaves my total word count thus far for draft two at 16,406. So really happy with that progress. I've only been writing draft two for three days now, so I'm very happy with that. and happy Wednesday. Um, I worked from home today, which was super nice. I love the days that I work from home. I feel like I not only get so much work done, but it's also just a lot less stressful. So I love that for me. After work, I went on a quick run just to move my body, had dinner, and now I'm kind of settling in for the night and writing. This is sort of my routine as someone who works a nine to five. I work in the morning and I write in the evening. I definitely am more productive writing in the evening than in the morning. I've tried writing in the morning. It ain't for me. <laughs> I, you know, kudos to people who can write in the morning and wake up early and do that. Uh, that I, that's just not me. But before I get into tonight's writing session, I did just want to take a second to talk about what my overall plan is and timeline for Project Crown. So in the last two vlogs, I have essentially read my draft one and started draft two. I'm obviously still in the draft two stage and so I think where I'm at is I believe I and an idea okay this is definitely a stretch goal but I'm gonna try I would love to finish draft two by the end of November I genuinely do not know how realistic that is because like the holidays there's a ton of the book left for me to write and I'm already on you know the 13th of November so I genuinely don't know if that's possible but I would love to try it. So if I could finish draft two in November, I would love to get beta readers to read it in December. And that would be kind of nice because also like during the holiday time, like I'm not going to be working on it because it would be with beta readers. Um, I would love to get the feedback from the beta readers by January. And I will be gone in the beginning of January. But when I get back, which is around the 10th, I would sort of be, you know, really rejuvenated and ready to start on my draft, my draft three, based on incorporating the feedback from beta readers. Um, and then January, I would love to refine draft three. And then I'm thinking February is my target date to kind of be done with draft three and start querying. The reason why I'm trying to aim for February is because there are certain times that are better than others for querying Larry agents. Um, the beginning, the end of winter, beginning of spring is a good time to start doing that because literary agents aren't as active in their inboxes during the summer months and then during the holidays they're not really checking it either so if you skip January so that they can kind of get into their inbox and clean that up and you wait until February you stand a better chance um, statistically of you know getting one of them to read your work so that's why February is sort of my target time period if it's too ambitious, which it might be, honestly, just, it's just a lot of work. I mean, this thing is thick. <laughs> so if it is too much, I will push it back. But in an ideal world, that's kind of what I would love for myself. Um, so with that in mind, that's kind of what I'm working with and what I'm thinking of in the back of my head um, for the next couple of months. And in case you guys haven't picked up on this, I would love to be traditionally published. Um, I'm not necessarily against 
um, you know, self-publishing, but traditional publishing is really, really the route I would love to go if I can make it happen. So anyways, that's my timeline goal for now. We'll see if that actually happens. Obviously, like the holidays are coming up and like I, I just don't know. But for now, that's the, that's the plan. So for tonight, I have a glass of wine here of Pinot Noir. Love that for myself. And we're going to go ahead and get comfortable and start writing. So I just finished writing for the evening. I wrote for about an hour and a half, which is a little longer. I usually do an hour during the work week. That's like my sweet spot. But an hour and a half, I started out with 16,406 words. I'm ending the night at 18,798 words, which means I wrote 2,392 words. I am very happy with that progress. Anything like really over 1,500, I get really happy about. Um, so this is, this is a win for me. I am also really happy about where I'm at in the story. Up to this point, really in my last vlog, in the beginning of this vlog, I have been having to establish the world you know you have to show what the world looks like and how the character behaves and what is normal for the main character before you know you can really change it so up to this point it was just building this world building the normalcy for the main protagonist and then now you know I'm finally getting to this point where the plot thickens and <laughs> you have um, things that are kind of starting to change and we're finally seeing some movement uh, which I'm really excited about um, this is the part that's like fun to me and it's like you know this kind of inciting incident um, and I think it's really fun and so I think you know moving forward into the weekend uh, I'm just gonna really enjoy writing I'm also getting into parts of my draft one annotation where I'm saying like expand this concept or bring this concept back later so I it's going to be interesting for me having to navigate that because obviously this is my second draft ever I've never had to you know draft a, a second draft to a, a draft one so um, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to organize that but um, I'm just really really excited I just really love this story and I'm so excited to tell it and to share it and I'm just really looking forward to it so anyways I just wanted to check in before I logged off for the evening it's about 8 30 I think for the rest of the evening I'm going to read I am currently reading Where the River Hides by Isabella Banias that came out earlier this month um, and I was a big fan of the first book so I think I'm just going to relax by reading that book I'm really looking forward to it and just enjoying the rest of my evening tomorrow I am going into the office so and I have like meetings back to back all day tomorrow I think it's gonna be a very not stressful but busy day and I'm curious to see how that affects my writing into the evening like am I going to want to write am I gonna feel really drained I was listening to Brandon Sanderson's lecture series and he talks about how like the best job to be in if you're a writer is one where you don't actually write is actually um a bricklayer because any or anything to do with physical labor is what he said because you move your body as your mind thinks and so that it allows for that creative energy for at the end of the night you can sit and write versus like my job because I work in PR I'm doing a lot of writing I'm doing a lot of thinking throughout the day my whole day is to think <laughs> so when it comes to having that space to write in the evening and to have that moment of creativity, sometimes it can be a little draining. So I'm hoping tomorrow is not like that. I'll see. I'll check in with you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> friends.
friends and happy Thursday. It is honestly a pretty chilly Thursday. It's currently 48 degrees and it is raining outside, which it truly feels like fall. Um, I went into the office today and it was a good work day. It was busy, but I got a lot done. I got to see my coworkers. So I have no complaints there. And now I'm home and it is time to get to writing. So I also think today is going to be the, my last day of this writing vlog. I've been trying to keep my writing vlogs to two or three days um, because I found that I'm just a little chatty Kathy on these things and it makes the videos really long. Um, so I will end it on today. Um, but before I go into my writing for the evening, I just want to mention that I really want to do a desk redo. Like I look at my desk and it is just so busy and unorganized and I think my brain just doesn't love it. Also for reference, this is my current desk setup and it's just not it. But I haven't really found a desk like on Pinterest or anything that's really inspired me. So if you know of a good setup, please let me know because I'm looking to redo my desk area. I feel like it would also help get the juices flowing. So anyways, tonight's goal is going to be either at 2,000 words or just under 2,000 words because that should put me at 20,000 words, which is my, which is like a really good place for me to be in, I think. Um, to kind of achieve the things that I've already been talking about in this video. So that's the goal for tonight. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. everyone so I have reached a good stopping point for the night I wrote at right about an hour and I finished tonight's writing session at 2,080 words which means total for draft two I'm currently at 20,878 really happy with that really happy hitting 20,000 words um you know I've only been really working on draft two for about a week now so really happy with that progress. Um, I'm also at a really good stopping point because in my notes from draft one, I really want to expand on the next scene that I'm doing. So instead of trying to just fit that in tonight where I can already tell like I'm getting tired, I worked today, you know, I've already written 2000 words. I'm just going to go ahead and listen to myself and just close it and revisit that at a later date. Um, so either tomorrow or this weekend sometime I will start working on the next section. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here. You know, I really enjoyed sharing where I have been going with this writing process. I was looking at my old writing vlogs. I do have a writing vlog playlist for Project Crown in case you guys aren't tracking and I'll put that link below, but I realized I was like, oh, like I thought I kept updating you guys on my progress in draft one and I really didn't do the best at updating you guys. So I'm trying to be better in draft two of just like keeping you guys abreast of how this draft is going. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for spending this time with me. Please let me know in the comments below if you're currently working on a manuscript and what it is, what genre, what's like, what's, what's, what's going on. I just would love to encourage one another and for this to be a space for writers to talk about the projects that they're working on. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really does help support my channel and I will talk to you guys in another one. Bye.